My name is Julie Parham, and I am the principal for the Center for Global Studies. CGS is a unique high school. We are a small inter-district magnet school located inside Brian McMahon High School. So we have 280 students who come from 20 different districts across Fairfield County, all come to this building with 2,000 students from Norwalk, and we make our home here. And our students come because they want to learn more about the world. They want to escape their bubble of Fairfield County, and they want to be active, compassionate, and empathetic global citizens. The programs at CGS focus on learning language and history and culture. So our students come to learn Mandarin, Japanese, or Chinese. And we study with our other classes, the history and culture associated with those languages. The, the beauty of CGS is really being able to explore courses within the classroom and to engage in discussions, but then also to get out there and experience um, these cultures and these societies in person. So we always say that for uh, the 280 students we have at CGS, they come for 280 different reasons. Um, but students come because we are a smaller school inside a bigger school, which is really unique. So we have a lot of um, personal communication with students and families. We keep track of everybody. Uh, but they're in a big school setting, so they have a lot of choices that you might not get at other small schools. We truly value the, the, uh, the whole student development, so it's not just about academics, it's also about personal development as well. And each teacher does their best job to meet each student where they are. We have students who are passionate about language. They want to learn the mother tongues of their grandparents or their, their parents. Um, or they might want to just learn something completely new about the world that they've never learned before. But we have students who are interested in taking risks and thinking outside the box who want to do something different. So they apply to a magnet school because they're looking for something new and unusual, and that's us. We teach student language, but we also teach their culture. So we believe uh, we want to produce the students not only linguistically uh, proficient, but also culturally competent as well. And also what makes our program is unique is we're constantly looking for ways to have a our students to put their language into use, to have an authentic encounter with the people speaking Chinese, you know, either from mainland China or Taiwan. Center for Global Studies is a standard high school in that we offer all of the standard classes. We have English, math, science, uh, uh, history, but within those classes, we have a global focus. In addition to that, our real attraction is our study tour experiences. So every student has the chance at least once in high school to go for two weeks to visit one of our 10 sister schools around the world in China, Japan, or the Middle East and have that immersion experience. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, leading up to the study tours, we take field trips every year. We believe very much in immersion learning, experiential learning. In a non-COVID world, I would have gone to China and lived with a host family for a week and then spent the other week um, traveling around with the other students on the study tour, but I was able to, my junior year last year, go to California we went to San Francisco, LA, Sacramento, San Jose, and it was a really amazing experience. We focused, it, focused on the Asian immigrant experience to Angel Island and things like that. I'd never been to California. I probably wouldn't have had an experience like that. We ate authentic Chinese food for like 10 days straight. Don't even get me started. In California, we had the most amazing authentic Sichuan food. And so some dishes that that consists of that I personally, I am a foodie. I'm willing to try anything and everything. If you, I was taught growing up, if you don't eat what's in front of you, that's extremely disrespectful. And you, you don't want to disrespect your hosts. I tried chicken feet. I did. It was interesting. It's considered a bar delicacy um, in China, but that was something interesting I tried. But the dumplings were beyond this world. They had, oh, these cucumbers like marinated in all these spices and it was like fresh and spicy at the same time. It was divine. Um, so many like chicken dishes, beef dishes. Oh, it was, it was really fantastic. Uh, so junior year, one of the trips I went on was uh, we went to Seattle, Washington. Um, it was a very fun time. Um, it was only uh, 13 of us of my classmates. So it wasn't like a big like group. Um, we went uh, to the ocean for the first part of the trip. We stayed at a hotel and we went to like go travel around the city of Seattle. And like the last half of the trip, we went um, into the, uh, I think it was Mount Rainier. We went to the mountains and we stayed in like this little like cabin area. The, the study tour that we had last year, 
Um, we went because of because of the last year. We had to, we because of COVID, we had to go domestically. But we went to Washington D.C. and New Mexico to study and observe and to learn about Arab people and culture there in those different areas. It was really interesting. It was the first time I'd ever been that far from Connecticut, so it was um, really it was the first time for everything. I we talked to a bunch of uh, religious leaders in mosques. We we met. Arabs just you know around we talked to them we had a lot of different Arabic food for different places we, we traveled we met a lot of people we just had a lot of fun and it was it was probably the highlight of my junior year and I'm, I'm excited to go to Morocco this year um, to really get more immersed in Arabic culture. The Global Citizen as a CGS um, student and as a CGS teacher we are really um, trying to ensure that um, as a community, we're very open-minded to a diversity of ideas and viewpoints. And, um, and in that, that we are recognizing that there is no single story, but there are a range of perspectives that then look at any given issue. And bringing that lens, um, we look at you know, conditions or situations um, through the, the context that we are from. So as a IB program, particularly uniquely at CGS, we're really looking at um, any given history or any story, and we're recognizing that there are a number of different um, perspectives. You're really bringing this kind of a uh, global perspectives through the lens of that discipline, all right? And, and so you know that there are many different people who are experts in their disciplines, whose works we're using to teach our subjects. And IB is particularly great in that it allows the teacher to kind of pull all these pieces together, but you're still getting your core, you know, reading skills, writing skills, analytical skills, things like that, but you're just bringing this um, broader perspective. But then the other thing that's pretty interesting is that um, as a young person, a student gets the chance to really um, think more internationally, right? They're not just thinking through a provincial lens or um, you know, just Fairfield, Connecticut lens. I think the most important thing for high school is finding the right fit. And CGS is not the right fit for everyone, but it is the right fit for students who are looking for something different, who wanna think outside the box, who are risk takers, who are curious. Uh, one of my favorite stories is you know, um, a student found herself in China in her host mom's kitchen. Um, you know, 3,000 miles away in the middle of the night and her host mom was making something that just smelled delicious and uh, plops a bowl of soup down on the, on the table in front of her and the student, you know, reaches in with her chopsticks, pulls out something and she has no idea what it is. She doesn't know if it's, you know, a vegetable she's never heard of. She doesn't know if it's a part of an animal she would never normally eat, but she's got like two seconds to make a decision. Like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna eat that thing? Or are you going to not eat it and possibly risk offending your host mom on the other side of the world? Um, and I love that story because there's no right answer, right? You've got to make the decision and we need kids who want to come and have the chance to make that decision and take that risk. And that's what CGS is all about.